What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. In previous weeks, I've taken a look at Fable Anniversary and Fable 2, so let's finish off this trilogy of games and talk about Fable 3. It was developed by Lionhead Studios and published by Microsoft Game Studios, with a North American release date of October 26, 2010. Later the next year, it was also ported to the PC. Just like the first two games, Fable 3 is an action RPG set in the world of Albion. Fable 3's story takes place 50 years after the event of the second game. You are the younger sibling of an evil tyrant king named Loghain. After escaping the castle, you set out to unite all the people under your banner in the hopes of leading a rebellion. You have to do this by completing missions, talking to villagers, and making promises with them. Halfway through the game, the story shifts, but for the sake of this review, I won't spoil anything. The controls are very similar to the previous two games. One button to attack, one button for your ranged weapon, and one button for your magic. However, the way that you upgrade your hero is vastly different. In Fable 3, you need to collect Guild Seals. You can do this by completing missions, interacting with NPCs, and just overall trying to do as many things in the game as you can. You then go to the Road to Rule where you can spend these. Strength, Skill, and Will have been replaced with Melee, Ranged, and Magic. Melee also has two different things now, where it's sharp weapons like swords or katanas, or bludgeon weapons like hammers. The ranged weapons are also a little bit different now, but there's two different definitions with both pistols or rifles. A neat addition of this game is the ability to dual wield magic spells, and while there's still not nearly as many spells as the first one, it is kind of a cool concept to use two spells at once. The best addition to this new Fable game is the Sanctuary, and here you can go and look at your weapons that you've acquired, your clothes or your outfits, what quest you need to complete, or any gifts that you may have received along your way. Speaking of weapons, legendary weapons are also very different. This time, you have specific ta three tasks for each weapon. Once you complete these, it'll unlock some sort of bonus, such as maybe doing extra damage versus a specific enemy type, or earning guild seals faster for doing something. Next, I'd like to touch on the music and sound effects. The music is still nice in Fable 3, but... I don't feel that it quite measures up to the grandiose tracks from the previous two games. One neat feature that was added in this game is your hero now has a voice, which does add quite a bit of depth. I have no complaints about the sound effects overall. So finally, to close out this review, is Fable 3 worth adding to your collection today? Well, if you've enjoyed the previous two titles, then absolutely. Or, if you just really like action RPGs, then yeah, go ahead and check this game out, add it to your collection today. Thanks for watching, and until next time.